questions. Talk to me about candidate recruitment uh, and and the sorts of candidates who are stepping forward to run against the Pelosi Democrats in the House. We've got them all over the country. There are some very, very interesting candidates that we have. We have uh, not only uh, a guy named Steve Fincher, who is in Tennessee, a farmer. We've worked with him. He has raised $300,000 inside his state and congressional district. This is the kind of example of a person who was at home, worried about where his country is headed, and did something about it. We have them all over the country. I went on the road in August. I met a young guy by the name of Stephen Fincher from Frog Jump, Tennessee. Never ran for office before. Tanner's the head of the Blue Dogs, $1.4 million in the bank. No Republican even ran against him last time. Today, Tanner is now retired. Doesn't even want to face Stephen Fincher from Frog Jump, Tennessee. Because you know why? Stephen Fincher happens to be a farmer, didn't like the way this country was going, and willing to risk himself to go out on the line. Never, ever been to Washington before. And that's the difference, a fresh face going through. I'm pro-life, I'm a conservative first, a Republic, Republican second. There are things in the Republican Party I don't agree with sometimes. I'm a conservative first. I'm pro-life, I'm pro-gun, I'm anti-tax, I'm for small government. Folks, we've got to get back to common sense and integrity in this country. And you are a farmer. What's going to happen to your farm while you're out campaigning? That's a, it's a big commitment. It is a big commitment, but it's... Uh, uh, my children are more important. Uh, my family will pick up uh, where I uh, have left off. Uh, but it, it is going to be a lot of hard work. Uh, but this country is worth fighting for. And uh, we have to stop. We have to stop uh, President Obama and Speaker Pelosi from destroying our country from the inside out. Well, it's...